Well, there is a huge military presence in Sumter. Our Kaylin Hagwood joins us now with a look at how the community is honoring those on Memorial Day. I'm in Sumter at the American Legion Post 15. Earlier today, dozens of veterans and other people from the community gathered inside in honor of our nation's fallen military. Many people were dressed in hats and shirts commemorating their time in the service, along with patriotic colors representing our nation. Although multiple speakers came to the stage, they all shared a similar theme, one of remembrance, remembering those who fought and died for our freedom, remembering their families, and sharing their stories to the next generation. We don't need to look very far in everyday life for reminders of those heroes who have enabled us to have the freedoms that we have today. It's in our homes, it's in our jobs, it's in our sporting events, it's in the city and county around us, it's in the schools. We have all of this because the heroes throughout our American history have made that ultimate sacrifice. Heroes like Lafayette Adams, Vivian Moses, and John Hugh Gettings, all local veterans who died in service and whose names live on in memory in the Maubry Memorial. Are there any relatives of the heroes listed on Memorial at Mabry Park here today? The family of John Hugh Gettings in the Vietnam War. He was very young. He was a cousin. And the prisoners of war, those not with us today, but always here in memory. This program has been put on today to honor all of the veterans that have served and remember those that have fallen by the wayside. We standing on the shoulders of the veterans now from all the wars. We have told our veterans that's gone before us, that we love you, we miss you, and for your sacrifice and your service, we're here, and this is, this is your day. For Street Squad Sumter, I'm Kaylin Hagwood.